So I want to talk about this real quick. All right, I just want to talk about this real quick because a lot of people, again, um, just to be clear, the reason why I'm doing this again, because I did this on my last stream, is because people are putting out this misconception, they're putting out a lot of uh, misinformation about, like, the whole Discovery and Warner Brothers deal, or the Discovery and AT&T deal, and all that kind of shit. There are a lot of people, there's a lot of, like, freak out over something that's that you shouldn't even freak out about. So many people are like saying like, oh, Netherrealm is, is Netherrealm is up for sale. Uh, Netherrealm's future is uncertain. The future of Mortal Kombat, we don't even know. Like, oh, this is bad news. Like, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, no. Let's let's explain this in the basic ABC way possible about this whole new deal. So AT&T, AT&T is in buck loads of debt. Okay, they're in buck loads of debt. And they wanted to do, they wanted to get into media. And so they got, what they wanted to do to get into media, they got and they formed Warner Media. Warner Media is not the same as Warner Brothers. Warner Media is not the same as Warner Brothers. The Warner Media is the mass media company that makes Warner Brothers films, DC, HBO, and we'll just put WB Games. Now, because AT&T is in a buck load of debt, they are selling this entire thing. They're in, they're, they sold the entire thing to Discovery. And now, AT&T formed a deal with Discovery, and now Warner Media no longer owns Warner Brother Films and WB in general, DC, HBO, and WB Games. Now, under Discovery, Discovery has now made... Discovery, the new deal is this. Because of the deal, Discovery made a new company... New company, we don't know the name yet. New, new company that, own, now, that now owns WB, DC... HBO, HBO, and WB Games. So now, the new company is not Warner Media that owns WB, DC, HBO, and WB Games. So, yes, Discovery does co own DC, WB, and all that, and all well, what WB makes, HBO, and WB Games. So, the whole rip injustice thing is not true. DC is under the same company as Netherrealm. WB Games is also, you know, like, you know, like WB Games is uh, over Netherrealm. Netherrealm is under WB Games. So, because Netherrealm is under WB Games, NRS, NRS is under WB Games, that technically means that NRS is owned by this new company or like it, it's, it's under this new company has under discovery so yes it's up for sale or it was up for sale because like AT&T did sell this Warner Media to discovery to form a new company to own WBDC HBO and WB games and NRS and all that kind of stuff but it's that's it like 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 discovery has it Discovery has it. It's not up for sale. It isn't like a deal where it's not like a deal where like um, the AT and T is selling like different assets of of uh, of Warner Media and everything. No, 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 no. It's all under Discovery and the new company. So what is true is that some of WB Games will stay with AT and T once this new company moves and acquires everything else. It's possible that there are some WB Games studios that stay with AT&T and don't go with the new company. Uh, but that doesn't mean they're being sold. That means they're staying with them. They're not going with the new company. That doesn't mean they're being sold. It means they're staying with the new company. I very, I very much doubt that Netherrealm is staying with AT&T because it is reported and it is confirmed that DC is under the new company. 
It is confirmed that DC is under the new company. If something as big as DC is going to the new company, 100% Netherrealm is going with the new company as well. Most likely the gaming studios under WB that are going to uh, that are staying with AT&T are probably going to be like the mobile game ones just so like they have like some sort of like money to gain. So the future of Netherrealm Studios is going to be just fine. Now, what is uncertain is how this will change Netherrealm's like development. It's way too early to say what kind of development processes or uh, processes are going to happen under the new company. We don't know how this is going to affect the movies. We don't know how this is going to affect the games. It's most likely going to affect the, the movies more than the games and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's way too early to say how this will affect the approaches because under the new company, the person who owns the new mass media company is going to be changing leadership roles in different areas, like in almost all of them. So. Whoever is in charge of WB games, is pro the leadership approach is going to be different and we don't know how different that's going to be. However, from what I have read, this is actually good news because Discovery is known to put creators first and to be a very creator first driven company. Again, it's so early to judge and to say how this will affect development processes and things like that in any aspect, in the movies and in the games. It is reported that this won't take into effect until mid-2022. So nothing has changed. There is no like canceled product because of this deal. Everything right now until mid-2022 is business as usual. Kind of like how the Disney-Fox deal happened, where like Fox still kept making their movies, they still kept putting them out until the merger actually happened, until like they Disney actually acquired Fox. You know, they, they signed the deal a long time ago, but then it took a while until they, it actually was under Disney's hands. It's the same thing here. It's gonna take a, it's gonna take until mid 2022 until the deal is made and changes start happening. So no, Combat Pack 3 isn't canceled because of this. Like Netherrealm's future is going to be fine. We we just gotta chill, okay? There is no there is no like change in leadership because of this deal. It's it's going to be all the changes are going to be until mid 2022. That that's a fact that's been reported. Really, the entire point of this like section of the stream or the, this, this entire point of the video, if you're watching this on YouTube, is just to kind of clear up the confusion and to clear up a lot of misinformation that's going around because there's a lot of misinformation going around. That's, that, that's it. That, end of story. End of story. Okay? End of story.